some things are very strange in this world i call this relative increase this is not absolute increase because we can see it now we are showing it off in the olden days also there was infertility problem this is not a new thing when i was a child there were lot of women in my village who did not have children so this is not a new thing now what has happened is population has increased because population has increased infertility problem has also increased and not only that all these we are bringing it on the television now we are advertising this thing we are talking about it openly now and now we have converted it into a business so today it is highlighted more till where it has come now means if you are going on the road you can see the advertisements all over you can see the boards if you want to conceive come here you can see many infertility centers because it is a business now it has become a big business now and another thing is hormones last time we were talking about the glands called thyroid and all all these glands after giving hormones they give these women some hormones so that they can conceive same thing for men also but while doing all these we have to remember one thing what is it means what is science now whatever we are doing we call it science we call it scientific method of doing till where this has gone means recently in boston recently means it is already 2 years now a young phd student mit what he did is after passing the phd he started a company called futuristic inc what it was means that i will produce a man without father and mother for this we call self replicating nanopods for this you don't need father and mother you may come and give the order i want such and such type of baby the baby should be like ravana or else the baby should be like rama and if you place the order i will do it and give which is called self replicating nanopods and within 3 months of his starting this company he accumulated around 100 billion dollars of money venture capitalist that means this is a very big business if he is ready to create people how much money he can make if you buy shares from his company now suppose an infosys who has invested 10000 rupees now has become a crorepati in the same way people invest money in it so all this happened and after some time and this man his name is eric drexler and his master who helped him in doing phd his name is richard smalley and he is a nobel laureate he said now this man is cheating the people of the world so now i have to tell the truth to the world so he wrote a letter to the boston what he wrote is this is not possible to do leave nanopot we don't have the energy to create a single dna because this dna thing is a natural thing which happens naturally in the nature this cannot be created by us so in nature we cannot create nanopots so you please don't waste your money on this so company closed what if the company closes this fellow made money for his three life spans so see this is business in the same way now fertility centers are emerging like mushrooms because they go and advertise this in newspapers in sunday daily they put a big advertisement if you come here the doctor will do this the doctor will do that if you don't have children they will treat you because of this advertisement everyone came to know about it so people has got awareness about it now so you think that now you asked me one question that now fertility centers are becoming more and now it is very difficult a woman has to go and knock four doctors doors to conceive a single baby like this nothing happened in this world nothing changed this is one thing i will tell you the second thing the moment we go against the nature the nature will teach us a lesson for women if this un- 
infertility problem has to go and even for men and if they give hormones to them we give hormone cycle we give a hormone cycle and try to correct it and when they tested 5000 people among them breast cancer cases have increased two times which means that if we play with the nature and if we try to teach the nature then the nature in turn will teach us a lesson so now what we know if we give hormones too much then breast cancers will increase they have only studied regarding breast cancers rest of the cancers they haven't studied yet because much time has not gone and in children they do test tube babies all these are fine everything happened good then they did the surrogate mother that is taking the uterus for rent and then putting the test tube baby in that uterus they do it if the mother's uterus is not good they do such things also and this business has gone till where means so much they have gone against the nature means all such unnatural things we are doing now and what we don't know is how this baby will grow how it will lead its life and what diseases it may get in the future we still don't know it because all these things are new for us see now this is very strange we show everything as strange for example i'll tell you one thing in this situation now the doctors don't have time in the olden days the ladies who will deliver will get pain and we'll be observing them when they will deliver and when it is time we'll help in delivering the baby but now we don't have time because hospitals are busy now hospitals are full of people and patients i know painless delivery concept has also come and we advertise it and most of the women are of the opinion that they should not get any pain while delivering i have to deliver happily without pain and i don't have the mood to deliver also why because the baby can be removed from direct from this uterus no all these are started now i will tell you one story in the nature this butterfly is there no initially it will be a caterpillar then it will form into a cocoon if it has to become a butterfly then it has to come out of the cocoon and while you, while it comes out if you observe it you will feel very sad you will feel oh my god this is struggling so much to come out of the cocoon oh it may die now let me remove it from the cocoon and if you try to do it then it will be there itself it will not grow further at all it will not get its wings and it will not fly also it will be half caterpillar half butterfly and it will die there itself in the same way the baby has to come out from the mother's genitalia and while coming out many changes happens number 1 is its consciousness changes for that we call perinatal consciousness while coming what it thinks is i have to go out till now i was in water now i have to be in air now i have to breathe and at this stage if you do something urgent or if you delay then that baby will get wheezing problems and other diseases in its life in the same way if the baby does not come out of the mother's genitalia then it will not get the essential germs in our entire life right from our mouth to the anus there are 10 to the power of 13 which means 1000 million billion germs are there and without these germs you cannot survive all these germs only take care of our immune system if these germs are not enough present in the, our body then our immune system will also not be good 